TV channel, taking the gospel across the globe. Uh, my name is Sipogazi Epele. I am coming from Jimmy Steen. I started to come uh, at Shekina Church. Uh, I started last week on Sunday. I went to my aunt. Uh, I had a problem with my children. Then my aunt said, let us come uh, to Shekina uh, to get prayers. Then when I was on the line, uh, the prophet said I should go to the prayer line. Then I came uh, on Thursday this week. Uh, when uh, the prophet was uh, praying for me, uh, he said, I unlock your finances and I redeem your marriage. And then he, he prayed and prayed and prayed for me. How many kids do you have? Four, where are they? Where are the rest? Jimston. They're at home. You must bring them, okay? Okay. And bring all your kids to here. Okay. We want to pray for them. Eh? Okay. We want to pray for them. Give me that your necklace. Give me. Just pull it. Give me. Take it. Take it. Look at it. Look at it. Leave her, let her go and use it now. No more sleepless night. An attack in the marriage. Wake her up. Hey, stand up. Come here. What is happening in your marriage? It was not okay in the beginning. Huh? In the beginning, it was not fine. What is she saying? I said, what is happening? Why do you want to carry your bag? Because I saw you carry your bag. <sighs> today, God has restored your finances and restored your marriage. Amen. From today. When you have trouble in marriage, don't complain to nobody. Okay? Amen. Complain to God. Complain to who? To God. To God in prayer. Go to God in prayer. Tell him what is happening. Huh? Yes, Pastor. Going to the elder brother to go and talk. Talking to other people is not important. You talk to God first, and God will restore everything. Don't leave your marriage, eh? I won't leave it. Don't. God give you that marriage for a purpose. Thank you, God. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Only you, your marriage, living your marriage, and God is going to restore peace in your life and the finances. 
Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Prophet. Your children will go to the best school from now. Uh. And everything will be fine. Okay? Their father will be is already out of problem. Uh. It's already you. out of problem. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Put your hand in your chest. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hand. That you use. I, I give it to you to use. Put your hand in your chest. Say Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Go. You're free. Thank you, Jesus. So while he was praying for me, uh, I went back to my seat. Then when I was sitting there on the prayer line on the seat, I saw my phone that is flashing and flashing and flashing. Then I got interest to take the phone and pick it up and check what was happening. When I looked at the phone, I couldn't believe the, the SMS that was there. There was SMS that was saying the, 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 the funds have been released according to your instructions. And then again, there was also another SMSs that were coming through, through my bank accounts. And then while I was sitting there, I was trying to look at this money. Uh, I, I, I just looked at it and then I said, okay, it's, a, it's just a money maybe. Then I, I, I sit down. But again, I go and look again. I couldn't read the figures. Then I, I put the phone in my chest. I didn't know if I must jump or I must shout. Hallelujah! Mama, just to clarify, you're saying the man of God called you forward and he spoke to you about your finances. God is going to restore peace in your life and the finances. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you, perfect. Your children will go to the best school from now. Oh, yes. Just to clarify to the congregation, had you spoken to him about your finances? I never spoken to the prophet before. And then the man of God declared a word and he prayed over you. When you got back to your bag and you saw your phone flashing, there were all these amounts of money coming into your bank account. Yes. Put your hands together for Master Jesus. Something happened. Finances were released. Money that he has been waiting for a long time. A lot of money. So he said he wants to testify now. It happened today while you were praying. So can they hear from you what just happened? What happened? Uh, after uh, Prophet uh, was uh, talking to me, releasing finances and my marriage, I went back to, to the seat. Then I took the phone because I could see it was flashing. Then I saw there was, I couldn't even read how much is the money. I was trying to trying to check to see how much, because I've never, ever, ever, ever get this amount of money in my life. So you were expecting this money, long but time. It, long time. So only today this finances has been released. Right, when I went back there, now it's here, it's here. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Many more is coming. Go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sister, you also mentioned that these funds, you, when, you, when you eventually composed yourself and realized what was happening, these funds, where were they coming from? Could you help us understand what was happening there? Uh, firstly, I was working for a, a big uh, corporate company. Then I decided to, to resign. Uh, it, takes, uh, you, it takes you to get your pension money, uh, 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 maybe 30 days, and then after that. I only, it's only a week or two that I've resigned from work, so I was not expecting anything. And then from the one from the U, I went for the UIF as well, and then they told me that you can claim, but you will never get any money. It's like, they tried to tell me it's like an insurance uh, uh, when you pay for your insurance, so I'm not gonna get anything. And then some of the monies that I've been trying to invest here and there. So I thought, I, I just give up, for the last five years I was, just uh, financially uh, stressed. So that is why when I saw the figures, because it was something I've never seen in my life. So I had to go home to my husband to know those figures. Amen. So my sister, just one more time so we're clear. For five years, the money hadn't cleared. And last week was your first time 
and after the man of God prayed for you, your funds were cleared. Immediately I went, immediately the pastor uh, prayed for me and I went back to the seat. That's when I saw my phone in, in that moment. That is when I didn't know what to do, what if I jump or I scream or what is that I need to Put your say. hands together for Master Jesus. Indeed, our God is a God of now. Mama, and you've mentioned that you came for your own reasons to Shekinah Glorious Faith Ministries, also known as the Solution Center. But God gave you a different solution than you expected. Yes. We thank Jesus. Yes. Mama, could you just share with us any words of advice that you would share with others who might want to experience the same type of blessing and miracle that you experienced in your life? The advice I would give is that uh, God's type is the best. Sometimes we want things uh, in our own way and then God already knows what he is preparing for you because I was not prepared what happened on Thursday. I was looking for other answers, but God answered me in another way. So God's time is the best and you should listen to the prophet because God is really here. Put your hands together, congregation. Indeed, God knows us better than we know ourselves. Mama, we thank you for your wonderful testimony and we pray that it stays permanent in your life and may the perfect peace of our Lord Jesus Christ rest and abide with you and your family now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Connect with God from wherever you are through Rafa TV channel.